Welcome to the Student Athlete Spotlight, featuring local high school sports. We'll have candid interviews with coaches, students, and more. So it's playtime. But that's during the season. Right. I like what it does for you outside the season. That was there last year. They were underclassmen. Now they're upperclassmen. They're smarter. <laughs> they're faster. This episode is sponsored by Jerry's Seafood, located in Bowie, Maryland. All right, welcome to the uh, first student athlete spotlight. I'm here with Coach Bell from Great Mills High School. Um, Coach, great to have you here uh, for the spotlight tonight. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So tell me about kind of your path. You know, you went to Great Mills. You're an alum. Can you tell us a little about that and how you became the head coach there? So Steve Hoopengardner was my head coach, and uh, I, I love Coach Hoop. He just he put so many uh, good qualities. I mean, mm-hmm. and he did that with the whole team. And uh, Hoop was the type of guy – who couldn't let you enjoy things. He had to explain it. <laughs> it's, if, if it was talking about the recruiting process, because I wasn't big. I was only mm-hmm. like 205 at the time. Okay. I wasn't extremely fast, only wearing a 472. And he's always trying to break that down to me. And I'm trying to watch a basketball game. And here Hoop comes, <laughs> calls me out the stands and puts me in the hallway. Like, look, this is why these people are looking at you. These people are not looking at you. I'm like, I got it. That's I great. got it. But his words of wisdom just stuck with me forever. Yeah. Do you find yourself using some of his quotes? All the time. Give me one. What do you got? Purdy work is. We have a sticker that says Purdy work. Purdy? Purdy. Not oh. pretty. Purdy. He never said pretty. Okay. And then we have a hallway in Great Mills called Pretty Work. Who <laughs> never said the word pretty? It was Purdy, purdy work. work. Who never okay. said a curse word? Wow. That's so impressive. he get on you without knowing that. And and you have so much respect for man. You listen to what he said. And when he likes some, he hit that purdy work, that leg, and you know you knew you were doing something right. And you guys still use that. We still use it. That's we have fantastic. stickers right now. We actually we Very just gave cool. some out and the players know it and they're yelling out purdy work. So okay. um he, he is that program. Very cool. So tell me about your season. Two and start. Uh really exciting for your program and your kids. Uh tell me about the last game, North Point, right? Yes. Um it was thriller. Um, we came out there ready to play on defense. Mm-hmm. Um, last year we ran out. We, we, I know we won last year, but we still ran out of gas. Um, and I say that because we started having to do on double moves and okay. a lot of you know stuttering goes and a lot of trick plays to, be to get up on. Right, gotcha. and it worked. It did work. Mm-hmm. We had great players like Isaiah Mills. Right, um, he got him catching the ball. Uh, Jamarion couldn't miss. Um, we had a run game um, between Sincere Frederick and Diamond Bryan. Okay. You know, they kept yeah. it going. They kept them honest. Our defense kept us in the game, uh, and, and we played very well. Uh, this year, our defense was rocking. Uh, from, from start to finish, we were just we kept hitting them. Uh, we were trying to That's really great. focus on that run game. Uh, what do you think is the secret to your defense this year, maybe different than past? Is it? Something you guys are doing in practice, or actually, last year our defensive line was the thing. Right, we have mm-hmm. four seniors defensive line right. that were really good, and all of them are gone somewhere else right now. Okay, this year we have more than just that. We have all the returning se- um, back seven that was there last year. They were underclassmen. Now they're upperclassmen. They're smarter. <laughs> they're faster. Um, they got the playbook a lot quicker, so we're able to fly around a lot faster. That's great. Um, yeah. And then we were able to replace the D-line with some athletic guys that can just put hands on people. That's great. Tell me a little bit about your seniors. If you could say one thing about your senior group that you're just really excited about right now they've done. or They're together. That's awesome. That, that's yeah. the biggest thing. You know, we've our, our, always been that issue where we have a lot of individuals mm-hmm. worried about their own stats or – what their mom and dad says about them and their playing time. This year is not like that. We got a lot of guys, you know, and, and I know we're just talking about the seniors, but mm-hmm. those juniors and seniors, you couldn't tell the difference between those two. They they're, they understand who should be playing, who should mm-hmm. not be playing. They accept their role. Um, they know they're going to get their opportunity, and when they do get right. their opportunity, they show off. That's fantastic. Yeah. Very good, very good. So, Great Mills, you guys are the Hornets. What makes you unique, you know, in the area? Like, what what, what – what about Great Mills are you really proud of and just something unique about your school? Honestly, I just love the programs that Great Mills offer, like our STEM program. Okay. You're talking about math, science, computer technology. Uh, I love that part of the, of the school. I love the college program that we offer, Chop the Con, actually offers it now too, uh, where if you are, you know, especially if you're a free reduced lunch kid, you're taking college classes for free starting your junior year. You can get 24 credits. Wow. And you haven't even walked across stage yet, and you haven't paid anything. We buy your books stuff and everything. And if you're not, then you pay half price. You still have a discount, but it's incentive to take college courses. Um, I love the teachers there. Um, uh, the, the position that they have me in now, I'm able to sit in classrooms. 
we got a lot of young, great teachers that okay. are so enthusiastic, um, connect with the kids. That's what it's all um, about. They, yeah. they know how they give it as well mm-hmm. as take it. Uh, so it's real exciting watching them. Tell me, operate. oh, that's great. Tell me about your administration. Oh, man. Real supportive. Yeah. You know, uh, BJ now. You know, he's the new guy in charge. and no, he's the to... athletic director, right? No, BJ is the uh, he's the new principal. Oh, the principal. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So um, now, you know, Principal Dothert, he's coming in there. He loves sports. And and he accredits sports to uh, his saving grace of mm-hmm. getting him right with his academics and his behaviors and stuff. And, you know, his belief is that every kid should play two sports, at least two sports, because that's going to keep you – honest in your classroom, it's going to mm-hmm. keep you honest at home, keep you honest in the community. And it's that belief that, you know, yep. why have them in the streets when we don't have to? Right. And you guys also have a lot of extracurriculars there, too. I mean, your student athletes aren't just playing sports. They're doing other things as well. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah. We got National Honor Society, um, mm-hmm. which is big. We have a lot of our um, STEM programs are doing things outside the building. Um, of course, our band, I mean, our band just – Man, they practice longer than anybody <laughs> they else. They do. I mean, bands practice longer than yeah, anybody else. Yeah, yeah. God they, bless they, the bands, man. Yes. It's unbelievable. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> but they, they, they put that work in, and, and they, they do. do a great job. Um, so I love the band. And then we just have a lot of after-school programs that people just do, like you know, mm-hmm. like Gals Lead. It's a nice little program for the okay. women we have there. Okay. Um, we try to do something. I try to do a SAVE <clears> program, <throat> which stands for Student Athletes Valuing Education. And that just focused just on them. When did you start that program? Um, I Started as soon as I got here. I didn't call it save back then. We actually used to call it Phoenix. Hmm. And we really focus on just the football players. And then the school actually gave me a bus to bring eighth graders over. Oh, wow. And um, the whole belief behind the Phoenix is that we kind of want to destroy your current way of thinking Mm -hmm. and then build it back up to something new. And then when I saw we could add different sports, you know, male or female sports, and that's when we went ahead and changed the name to Safe. So, Coach, I want to segue into, you know, the game experience at Great Mills. Obviously, you got a great band. you got cheerleaders. you got uh, Mr. Hanley, the AD, correct? Yes. T- talk about that a little bit. First of all, let's talk about Mr. Hanley. Okay. And that is Coach Hanley. He's, he's always going to be Sorry. Coach Hanley. Yes. Me, and, <laughs> um, I love him to death. And he, he gets it. He understands uh, he's trying to unite the community as well as the school when it comes to athletics, mm-hmm. whether it's indoors, outdoors. Um, he's trying to get the band involved. We have a pep band that's there the whole okay. time, not just till halftime. Um, that's, you know, Mr. Pearson, make sure he's setting that up there. Chilean's um, squad is there the whole time pumping up. I mean, Coach Hanley just, he puts on the show. Now, it stresses him out a lot. <laughs> I'm sure. But he puts on a great yeah. show, and he— Well, because he cares. He, That's he, what it's about. He, yeah, he, cares he cares so much. That's so why he stresses. And he allows yeah. me to do my job. I can stay on the field and yeah. worry about field stuff knowing that he's going to take care of everything yeah. else. Well, and part of this, you know, what we're trying to do for the student-athlete spotlight in the area is to make sure people understand what's going on on Friday nights, mm-hmm. you know, in Southern Maryland. There's some great football being played. Um, I mean, you can probably attest to that. The, 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 it's gotten better, right? Yes. The football oh, absolutely. play. I mean, you, you know it yourself. Yes. You, so can you talk about that a little bit, maybe? I, I tell you what, um, the football football has been great. But now that we have these numbers, and I really mean, I'm going to emphasize again, we have numbers. <clears throat> It's it, we're hitting. That's game we're changer. Smacking. Yes, yeah. I mean you're hearing the licks. Um, you're seeing dynamic plays being ran. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not just you know you know three yards in cloud of dust. Right. Um, we're seeing the deep throws. Mm-hmm. We're seeing the pick sixes. Um, we're pe- seeing you know for us yellow jerseys running to the ball at all time. There you go. Um, and so it's it's different. It is a different <laughs> atmosphere now. So tell me, uh, Coach. I was wondering about we always have nicknames for players, right? I always love to give kids nicknames. Yeah. Give me your best nickname at Great Mills. Oh my man, Double T. <laughs> Double T. Parents, boy, my man told. Yeah. Me. He gets in there. He plays safety for us, and you go okay. look at him. You're like, oh, this guy's playing safety. We're stringing the guy in. When he's in there, he's, he gets his ball interceptions, hawk. he gets his fumble recovery, he just runs just to the happens. ball. Oh, I love yeah, the kid to death. That's great. That's what it's all about, you know, yes. having those guys that just love the program, they're a part of it, don't care about stats, yes. they just want to, you know, be a, be a hornet, right? Absolutely. So tell me about coaching, uh, if I kind of move in a different direction. Um, why'd you get into coaching? What do you love about coaching and coaching at Great Mills? I just love what it does for you. Um, X and O's are fun. I love being in the lab, figuring out the chess mm-hmm. game and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. I love that. That's fun. But that's during the season. Right. I like what it does for you outside the season. And honestly, if it wasn't for coaching, if it wasn't for this sport that we play, um, I wouldn't be here. 
No, like, I would. I'd, I'd be a local here. I'd probably be serving you drinks or you know, go fixing back to your, your head food. coach. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah. I, I football yeah. got me to where I need to get mm-hmm. and where I was supposed to be, and it got me to a place that I didn't even know I was supposed to be. And right. uh, so after spending all those years uh, college coaching and then coming back to be able to give back to Great Mills, oh, yeah. it's just a wonderful feeling. That's great. Well, they, they say, you know, high school coaches, you know, they change more lives in one year than most people change in a lifetime. So you're definitely making a difference to the community. So keep it up. Thanks for being on the show. Anything else to add uh, in final about Great Mills or the community? or? Just, just come out this Friday. Please support us. Remember, the tickets are online, so please purchase tickets online. There you go. Um, let's travel this year. Let's travel. Let's bring the green and gold to the other stages. Hornet Nation. Hornet Nation. Hornet travels. Nation to show up. Yeah, protect the nest, no matter where it's at. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Coach. Great Thank stuff. Thank you. <laughs>